Right now we're going to take a look at the difference between block level elements and inline style elements. A block level element is going to expand to the maximum width of its containing element, whether that be the page or a inner containing element. An inline element is only going to cover the space that it absolutely needs. I've set up a page with a div and I've specified a width that way we have an inner containing element and then we have two paragraphs. The first paragraph is just a simple paragraph and we're going to apply a style to it. We're going to create a new CSS rule. If you're a paragraph inside a container, you're going to say OK. We're going to go to background color and just choose a background color. Say OK. And you'll notice that both of these paragraphs now have the green background color. Now the second paragraph, I also have a span. You can see that in a tag selector. And it surrounds the entire paragraph. So let's see the difference there. So I'm going to choose to create a new CSS style. So now if you are a span inside of a paragraph inside the container, say OK. You're going to once again choose the background. I'm going to choose a different background color. I'll choose yellow in this case. Say OK. Now you can see what a span. Now notice where the paragraph background color goes all the way to the end of our containing element. The span's background color only covers the area of the content inside of its box. So therefore, if you look, there's always space left over at the end of each row and on the last row. So that is the main difference between a block level element and an inline element. The inline only takes the space that it absolutely needs to contain its content. The block level takes as much space as it can. If it runs out of space, a block level element will then just move to the next line.